What's up, cousins? Welcome back to Tommy Bikes Homestead. Thank you for being here. And if you aren't a cousin yet, consider subscribing and that will make you one of my family members. Um, I told y'all, I told y'all it was going to be a busy, busy day. I'm going to try to space these videos out so you'll have time to catch up, but I got to get these videos out. So it has begun. What am I talking about? If you have not watched me speak on the bomb cyclone, you need to go back and check that video out. But it has begun. Thousands are without power in Washington, in Washington state. Thousands are without power. Severe weather begins hitting the Pacific Northwest. It's going to get worse, y'all. We haven't even hit winter yet. And this is shaping up to be the wettest winter we've had in a while. So if you are not prepared, because this is a homesteading channel. This is about preparedness, okay? If you are not prepared, start now. If you've already started, check your preps. Make sure you have all of them ready, okay? So... Let's get into this article because y'all need to turn your notifications on. There are going to be more videos today. They probably won't all be about weather, but there will be more videos today. Thousands without power in Washington State as a severe weather begins hitting Pacific Northwest. There is a video I'm going to play. But first, I must read the article in order to use the video without getting a copyright. Definitely, it is free, uh, free 99 if you hit that like button. And if you don't like this video or any video I do, hit the dislike button. It lets me know what you want to see. So a woman was killed by a falling tree in tens of thousands of homes in Washington state lost power on Tuesday as Northern California and Pacific Northwest started feeling the effects of a powerful atmospheric river event. Y'all, this event is that bomb cyclone that I was talking about. Oh, Lord, my husband's headed to Oregon. Hold on, y'all. The storm could bring up to 15 inches of rain and heavy snow in the mountains. Forecasters said by around 7 p.m. local time, almost 100,000 homes and businesses were without power in Washington, as well as more than 14,000 in Oregon without power. Trees are coming down all over the city and falling onto homes. The fire department in Bellevue, Washington wrote on Twitter at around 8 p.m. on Tuesday night. If you can, Go to the lowest floor and stay away from windows. Do not go outside if you can avoid it. In, Le in Linwood, in Washington's um, Snomish County, I think I said that right, a woman in her 50s died when a tree crashed down on an encampment at around 7 p.m. Forecaster said a whiteout blizzard could hit parts of the Cascade Mountains, which run, which run along the spine of the West Coast. The storm could dump as much as two feet of snow in Mountain Shasta City in Northern California because the city is along Interstate 5 that could foul up traffic. So they say on Twitter... Um, They have heavy uh, winds, so, you know, y'all need to be aware. Meanwhile, gusts of winds could hit 90 miles per hour on the summit of Mount Rainier at an elevation of 14,411 in Washington State. Seattle-Tacoma International Airport recorded gusts of 52 miles per hour Tuesday evening. Um, they said that we are expecting near hurricane force winds near the coast with hurricane force wind gusts over the capes and headlands. The fierce winds are driven by a so-called bomb cyclone, or as they called it, bombogenesis, 
a phenomenon in which a storm system rapidly intensifies as air pressure drops. A storm qualifies as a bomb cyclone when pressure drops um, by 24 millibars in 24 hours. This one was predicted to deepen more like 60 millibars in 24 hours, which is obscenely fast and very unusual. The director of the Center for Western Weather and Water Extremes says it's exceptionally intense. The bomb cyclone will usher in a long plume of moisture from the tropical Pacific known as the atmospheric river. Atmospheric rivers can be primary drivers of annual precipitation for the West Coast, and they cause more than 1.1 billion in yearly flood damage on average. Some 84% of flood damage in Western states is associated with atmospheric rivers. Uh, of course, scientists think climate change is influencing atmospheric rivers. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. They say a warmer atmosphere can absorb more water vapor, which gives the storm the capacity to deliver more intense precipitation. So like I've always been saying, these storms are getting worse and worse and worse. Whether you believe in um, global warming or not, these storms are getting worse. Sometimes it's, I think it's... <sighs> I have to walk tread lightly. <laughs> I think that it could be two things could be true at the same time. Global warming and also man interfering with nature. Cloud seeding is real, people. Um, let's see. So over three weeks from late 2022 into early 2023, California was battered by nine atmospheric river storms, which caused widespread flooding, landslides, downed trees, and wind damage. Estimated losses were at $5 billion to $7 billion from the sequence of those storms. Northern California will likely receive the majority of this storm's moisture. Its main characteristics is strong and stalling. Those two things combined can produce 10 to 20 inches of rain over three day period. Flood watches have been issued in Northern and Central Sacramento Valley, Shasta County and Western Calusa County from Tuesday, yesterday, all the way up until Saturday. Um, Ralph said the Russian river could receive about 10 inches of rainfall, about 20% of its annual average rainfall in just two to three days. Some minor flooding is expected along the river. Several other rivers in Northern California, including the L River, uh, could see minor or moderate flooding. The bigger rivers are less likely to flood. It's still early in the season and the landscape is relatively dry. In some places, it will more or less rain continuously from about right now through Saturday morning at least. This looks like a more extreme rain event than it will be a flood event, thanks to the dryness, of course. Um, but some areas will be getting flooded, y'all. So while atmospheric rivers can bring chaos in fall and winter, they're important for boosting the water supplies in California because y'all know the reservoirs have been very low. The storm will fill reservoirs and begin to replenish groundwater depleted during a hot summer. That's the story of California water and the West in general feast and famine. Big storms come both as hazards and as also benefits. Let's just go back up to the video. I hope you guys are having a truly blessed day. Um, after we do the video, we're going to see what other people are reporting on this before we get off. So stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. Hit that like, share the video out, and let's go all the way to the top. Let's see. <sighs> Oh, 
coast is bracing for storms this morning. NBC meteorologist Angie Lassman is tracking the flood threat for us. Hi, Angie. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, Francis. You're exactly right. That's where those flood alerts are currently up for places like coastal Mississippi and Louisiana. But look how expansive the storm system is stretching from the Midwest down to the Gulf Coast. We've got an active morning already, and this rain is going to be on the move through the next couple of days, actually. We'll see some of these showers working into the mid-Atlantic uh, and those heavy rains, of course, across parts of the southeast through the day today. As we look ahead to tomorrow, notice that we'll have a kind of... Yeah, it's raining here. Let me know in the comments if it's raining in your area where you are. It's raining here in the mountains in North Carolina. It was supposed to start yesterday, but it started this morning rain and snow mix across parts of the Great Lakes and those storms will still stretch down into parts of the Carolinas. As we get into Thursday, new storm system starts to develop just off the East Coast. This brings again that mix of some snow and some rain across the Northeast. This of course is beneficial rain for folks that have been dealing with that ongoing drought in that region. We'll get about an inch or so across the Southeast. Same kind of range here as we look ahead to the, no uh, to the Northeast through the middle of the week. Uh, looking out West though, we've got another storm system that's already prompted these winter alerts and this is going to be a big one. It really starts to uh, rev up here as we get through the day today. And those wind gusts will be possible along with the heavy rain and snow. We're talking gusts up to 70 miles per hour through at least the next couple of days. That intense rainfall and mountain snow will be something that they'll have to deal with. So you guys, I was watching um, Back to Our Roots. If you don't know about that channel, please go check that channel out. Um, it is Cheryl Swoops of the WNBA, Trailblazer, Star, you name it, can do it all in nails. And I don't have any, but Cheryl and her husband have a, I like to say they have a ranch in Texas. They have a lot of acres. And I was watching their video last night and they are um, in restrictions right now in that part of Texas. And the restrictions is burn restrictions. You are not supposed to be burning because they are having really high winds. Well, their neighbor decided she was going to burn some wood and it got out of control and started heading towards Cheryl and her husband's home. Well, property by the time it was done, because it almost, you know, it was a matter of feet from their garden, from their home. Um, they were trying to put it out with the water hose because when they called the fire department, they the fire department came out, but they couldn't get their big trucks in. Um, and this is their latest video. So definitely watch that video um, and let them know I sent you because they have a wonderful channel. Um, they deserve the most. <laughs> they deserve the most. They do a lot. They grow a lot of food. Um, they show you how they're growing their food. So definitely check that channel out. I don't know why I thought about that. I guess because of all the water and the rain and stuff, it just flashed. But definitely check that channel out. I like to support people when I can. Um, and they are a beautiful couple, how they, you know, share the load and divide the load at the same time because she's still active in doing WNBA appearances and stuff like that and he's holding down the home front and then when she's there you know she's doing her thing too and she's doing it all in nails i mean you can't beat it so um shout out to back to our roots okay mouse come on now help me out now okay so down here it was something I saw that caught my eye that I wanted to click on before we go. Hold on, let's see. They might be just repeating a story. Um, I think it was this one here. Wild weather extremes. Um, will make for an active week, y'all. And it's already active, so they don't have the video up. But it says a fall clash of seasons will be apparent this week across the U.S. as a mix of severe storms, wintry weather, and wild temperatures swing make for an active stretch for weather for millions of Americans. Like, the weather is weird, period. Um, it's been 
some mornings it's really, really cold and other mornings it's very mild. Like you wouldn't even need, you just need a light jacket or no jacket at all. Um, and then by this weekend, it's supposed to be like, we're going to get our first freeze, I believe Sunday morning or Saturday night or something like that. It's going to be like 33 Saturday and 32 on Sunday. So first freeze of the season. Um, now, if the weather is right, <laughs> all it takes is a low temp and some moisture in the air to collide. So definitely prepare for that. Don't get caught off guard. Remember when Texas got caught off guard with um, that huge snow and freeze that they had and people's pipes were bursting. They didn't have water. They didn't have heat. They didn't have power. Those things can happen like this. So it says here on Monday, widespread precipitation and heavy mountain snow are expected across the Northwest and Northern Rockies. The National Weather Service said up to a foot of snow is possible across the higher elevations of the Cascades and Northern Rockies wrecking, uh, wreaking havoc uh, for motorists who are venturing out. And, you know, people like to see the snow. People like to see the snow and then you get stuck. So definitely, uh, if you want to know people, you know, when it's snow, you want to see the snow, make sure you keep an emergency bag in your car that has necessities in it for you. If you get stuck for a while, that you have a blanket, that you have food, that you have water, those type of things, and that you have some medications in case you need it. Um, and in central U.S., the uh, sun, I can't talk, thunderstorms forming along a cold front could contain damaging winds and perhaps a few tornadoes between central Oklahoma and North Texas on Monday. Meanwhile, everywhere, some of the coldest air of the season is poised to overspread much of the central, southern, and eastern U.S. later in the week. This colder air could or should um, arrive in the plains around Wednesday, today, then quickly spill over the rest of the south, <coughs> excuse me, lower Midwest and east on Thursday. For much of the Northwest, Northern Great Basin and Northern Rockies, a cold front pushing across the region Monday will allow for unsettled weather to continue ahead of another powerful storm system that's forecast to develop off the coast of Northwest on Tuesday. The Weather Service warned that because of the snow, roads, and especially bridges and overpasses will likely become slick and hazardous throughout. Y'all know that bridges freeze way before the main road. Um, so be careful with that. Um, that's all they're basically saying. They're talking about the hard freeze um, in California for much of the Central Valley um, was... Monday evening, frost and freeze conditions could kill crops, other sensitive vegetation, and possibly damage unprotected outdoor plumbing. So definitely make sure your home is prepared. That's what I mean by that. Make sure your home is prepared. If you have unprotected pipes outside, make sure you have some kind of covering over it. They sell it at these um, big box stores. Or if you don't have the money for that, grab yourself a towel or something, something you can wrap it up with. So it's not directly in the cold. Doesn't mean you won't have issues or could have issues, but it means you lessen the chance of it bursting because it's not directly hitting that cold or that freeze rather. So with tornadoes, the threat for a few tornadoes and damaging winds will exist. And that was on Monday afternoon and evening from parts of East Texas into Louisiana. That's why they had that burn restriction. So I don't know what made that lady decide she was going to burn. And when she burned, I forgot to tell y'all, when she burned her wood and it got out of control and was headed towards their home, before you get to their home, because they have a lot of land, she basically burned three to four acres maybe of their property. And of course, she, she got a fine from the fire department, I'm sure. But is she going to compensate them for 
the three to four acres that she burned because they were um, they didn't mind about the grass. He said he didn't mind. The husband said he didn't mind about the grass because, you know, the ash from burning the grass will make the grass come back better. But the issue was it also burnt their um, I think they were growing. Was it wheat? I can't remember. Hay. they were growing hay and it burnt that. And they were about to get that taken care of and sold. So that's money gone. She would have to pay me for that. I'm sorry. She would have to pay me for that. So anyway, the threat for a few tornadoes and damaging winds will exist for East Texas into Louisiana in the vicinity. A tornado watch will likely be issued later Monday for portions of Texas and Louisiana, meaning conditions will be ripe for tornadoes to form. In addition to the tornado threat, heavy rains, heavy rainfall is most likely, um, they got that on Monday night across eastern Louisiana and southern Mississippi, and the threat will expand east to the Florida panhandle on Tuesday. A major storm is brewing for midweek around the Great Lakes that may not only bring wintry weather changes to much of the eastern U.S., but could produce some much needed rain for others. So that's what's happening with your weather. And if there's any other updates, I will come back with that if it, you know, is really, really important. Other than that, look out for other news stories that will be on the channel. So definitely, definitely subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you join. We would love to have you be one of our cousins here on Tommy Bikes Homestead and help me reach the goals that I have set. Um, I already know that God is going to get me to the goals that he has for me, but I too have goals that I have set and I'm trying to reach those. And every time I think I'm a little closer, I fall back down, but that's okay because God will always um, be there. He will see me through whatever is going on. That is the least of my worries is where my numbers are. So, um, cause life be life and, and I have situations that go on, but I try to push that aside and stick to the business at hand and stay focused and bring you guys the news that you can use, show you some homesteading over here. Um, cooking and baking. I'm going to get back into doing that over here and not on the other channel. I'm going to change the other channel, which is Tommy Bites Life. I had changed it to Kitchen Talk, Tommy Bites. I'm just going to take Kitchen Talk off and just keep it simply Tommy Bites Life, where you're going to get some vlogs. You're going to get me doing um, my side hustle um, and just in general vlogs, period. So let's get back to this channel. Thank y'all for being here. I appreciate it. I get sidetracked. That's right. I try to keep my blinders on and stay focused, y'all. I thank you for supporting the channel. It really, truly means a lot to me. Um, thanks for being here again. And I look forward to seeing you in the comments. Y'all take care. I love you, but God truly loves you more. He created only one you. Be the very best you that you can be when you are. Go out and spread God's love. I'll see you. Turn your notifications on.